ITIC calculates the most efficient way to break up or combine the excavation entities you have created and assign them to locate requests. In this example, ITIC has determined that four tickets are required to cover the excavation area. These tickets are represented by the tabs in the upper left corner of the screen, temporarily named Ticket A, B, C, and D. If you see a red exclamation point, it means the ticket is missing required information that must be entered before the ticket can be released. There will be a matching exclamation point in the section where the information is missing and a red border around each required field that is empty. The red globe icon indicates the mapping on the ticket has not been reviewed. You must review the mapping on each ticket before they can be released. The red individual edit link indicates that individual edit mode is on. You can click on this link to enable group edit mode, which allows you to make changes to all tickets in the session simultaneously. In this example, all four tickets have a common customer. North Central Positronics. With Group Edit Mode on, entering the customer's name in the Work Being Done For field of Ticket A will carry over to all four tickets. The same will be true for the Explosives, Tunnel Bore, and Area Marked questions. Turning Group Edit Mode off allows for entering information on each ticket individually. In this example, the type of work, duration, and right-of-way questions will vary on each ticket, so we'll fill out those fields while in Individual Edit Mode. You will also need to complete and verify the location information for each ticket. In the Marking Instructions field, enter a complete description of the work area that corresponds with the excavation entity displayed on the right side of the screen. Now that excavation and location information have been filled out, the red exclamation point is no longer visible on Ticket A. If you run into trouble, remember to consult the map on the right side of the page. Continue filling out and reviewing the tickets on your list. If necessary, return to the mapping section and remap the area. When you have finished filling out and reviewing all of your ticket's information, click the Next button. This will take you to the Ticket Disposition page. Here you can edit the start date and time and action ITIC will take with each ticket. Consult the Session Disposition table for an overview of each ticket. When you are ready, click the Submit button. This will activate the action assigned to each ticket, which typically means releasing the tickets to the affected utilities. Depending on your iTIC privileges, each ticket should now display a ticket number along with its temporary name. You can tab through the tickets to review each utility notification list. You can now choose to log out or return to the main menu.